Hey guys, Doc Hepps here, and thanks for watching Eurocode. So you were referred to a pelvic floor physical therapist. Is there some magic potion they're just uh, passing along? Um, I'll give you the insight into what pelvic floor physical therapy is about and uh, what to expect, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so the question we're going to go over today is pelvic floor physical therapy. Is this some magic or just some hocus pocus that the doc sent you on a wild goose chase? Well, I'll give you some insight as to why we as urologists might refer you over to a pelvic floor physical therapy specialist, what it's about, why we use it, things to expect, and I'll give you my overall opinion on it uh, towards the end. What is pelvic floor physical therapy? Well, it all started with this guy named Arnold Kegel. He was a American uh, OB gynecologist, and he had an interest in ladies who had weakness of the pelvic floor. So what would happen is he hypothesized that this weakness of the pelvic floor was due to a weakness in the muscles um, in certain ladies. And this caused ladies' bladders and uterus to drop, all prolapse, it caused urinary incontinence and other problems. He also developed a system where he could measure the muscles of the pelvis and he uh, inspired a exercise subsequently called Eggle exercise where one would contract those muscles of the pelvic floor and help prevent or reduce the symptoms of urinary incontinence, prolapse, and so forth. Um, it turns out that there are multiple studies when hundreds of ladies are put into a program of pelvic floor physical therapy, and they would do variations of this Kegel exercise, that they actually uh, had some improvement in their urinary symptoms. Um, it's not a complete reversal, but some ladies would stabilize their symptoms, wouldn't get worse, and some ladies did have some improvement along with other lifestyle changes. The, he was a doc that passed away back 1974 or so. Um, he worked at uh, USC, Southern California, in LA. So a little bit of a history about what pelvic floor physical therapy is based on. And it's sort of evolved where it's become an important component of what we as urologists have in our armamentarium to offer patients who have weakness of the pelvic floor, causing symptomatic urinary symptoms or um, what we call prolapse where the bladder or bowel or uterus has fallen or dropped. Pelvic floor physical therapy, who really needs it? Well, we as urologists could refer a significant amount of our patients to pelvic floor physical therapy because the risks are almost zero. So we refer people who have urinary incontinence. You could also have bowel incontinence. Um, people who have pain in the pelvis and we can't find a good reason. We look for a stone, we look for an infection, but they have pelvic pain and the urologists and gynecologists have done their entire workups, whether it be um, examinations and imaging, and uh, we think there's some muscular dysfunction. The next step would be working with a pelvic floor physical therapist to help with those symptoms. Men who have inflammation and pelvic pain also known as chronic pelvic pain, sometimes under falls under the overall heading of prostatitis. Oftentimes, these men have an inflammatory component of pelvic floor muscles and prostate, we believe, and some of these pelvic floor muscles go into, we think, spasm, and they can be helped by the pelvic floor physical therapy team. Also, uh, something that we're using more and more now is patients who are going to plan to undergo surgery, whether it's prostate surgery or um, prolapse repair surgery, oftentimes we'll at, see if they're interested in seeing a pelvic floor physical therapist, not only after surgery to help revitalize those muscle muscles of the pelvis, but also 
before surgery to just learn how those pelvic floor muscles work. So what's this pelvic floor physical therapy about? Well, what we believe and what the pelvic floor team may teach you is they want you to learn to use the pelvic floor muscles, which is kind of like a fan of muscles into a, that are shaped into a funnel of the pelvis. And through that fan and funnel, past the urethra, the vagina, and the rectum. So these muscles, like any other muscles in the body, are designed to function normally. They relax and contract in appropriate and coordinated fashion. And if there's a spasm of these muscles, just like if you had a cramp in your leg or your back, these muscles won't work properly. And they can cause urinary symptoms, bowel symptoms, and they can cause pain. And the pelvic floor rehab specialist can work with you to relearn how to appropriately relax and contract these muscles to try and mellow out any flare-ups that may be occurring and also learn how to better control your urinary and bowel symptoms. If you were referred to a rehab specialist for the pelvic floor, they oftentimes can spend a couple of hours with you on your first uh, treatment to better understand what's going on. Oftentimes they meet with you weekly, every other week. They set up a treatment plan that works with your schedule. And typically they'll meet you from four to eight times, depending on uh, how often you want and what they think would be appropriate. So some pelvic floor th physical therapists will use a manual where they do uh, manual exams and examination of the muscles. Sometimes that includes an internal exam better understand if the pelvic floor muscles are spasming or not. Sometimes they'll also have additional uh, therapies or treatments that would include electrical stimulation of the pelvic floor and monitoring to better understand if your pelvic floor muscles are spasming or not. The physical therapist will go over a, a lifestyle changes, dietary uh, components that may be causing a flare-up of your symptoms. Overall, pelvic floor physical therapy has evolved since I've been in training to become a more prominent and essential component of our practice. There's not a lot of pelvic floor physical therapists, but luckily we have some great ones in our area that we utilize frequently. They're really a godsend for certain patients uh, and can really transform their life to help get better control of symptoms that we as urologists don't really have a lot to offer. Typically, it's a very positive experience and they're happy they uh, pursued this avenue. And at the very least, uh, you would learn a lot more about your body and in certain muscles and areas that really you don't know too much about. I recommend pelvic floor physical therapy. For any patient that's interested that has some urinary symptoms, I think it's a very positive and helpful experience and most ladies uh, and men can help to improve their symptoms and just simply learn more about their body. So hopefully this provides you some insight about pelvic floor physical therapy. I appreciate your attention and thanks for watching. Subscribe and check out our other videos.